What up, world? So, I saw Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow stars Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, Bill Paxton, Brendan Gleeson, and, like, thousands of extras. Um, it's directed by Doug Lyman. He directed The Born Identity. Not Supremacy, not Ultimatum, not Legacy. The first Born Identity. He directed Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And kind of out of this style of direction, he did Swingers. Um, so you got Tom Cruise. And he is like... Cruise is a part of the United States military. He um, basically is the face of the service and he goes like to CNN, MSNBC, different types of Fox News stations and explains to, to the public that isn't in battle what's going on. He is, he's not fit for, du for duty. He's not meant to be in the shit. And he talks to Brendan Gleeson's character who's like the head of head general you know what i'm saying the head military person in charge of of like a european military i don't remember exactly but um you know what i'm saying brendan gleason and them are not u.s and next thing you know tom cruise is getting thrown into into battle he, he's not cut for the shit and due to some shit that happens as soon as he gets on the front lines and in the mix, you know what I'm saying? That's why he's able to groundhog day and every every time he dies, he wakes up and starts over and he comes in contact with Emily Blunt who is the you know the face, the shit, you know what I'm saying as far as as far as leading the pack for as far as leading the pack for the human race to survive and move on. And and they work together. And, you, you know what I'm saying, throughout reliving the same day over and over, Tom Cruise pieces different clues together on how to defeat the enemy. The enemy which is weird to describe. Um, I wanted to say in one of the Matrix movies when they're all in the ship and that little bubble with the tentacles i don't know i really don't know how to explain the shit when they're in the ship and they're fighting the the you know what I'm saying like the machine alien life form that's the best thing i can explain is what how what they're fighting like the main adversary in this movie sends out it's like drones it's own soldiers and like I said, Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, they do what they got to do to find a way to win. And you you don't know if they're going to make it. And that's that's what's part of that's part of what makes this movie good. Just the, the different ways that that it would pick Tom Cruise would would die and it would pick up from this point. Then it would start to pick up from other points as he learned, as he evolved, as he got more soldier, you know what I'm saying, more training, more skills, and his evolution from, from basically a paper pusher to a, to a badass, and, you know, the effects were dope, the, the, the story was dope, the direction was dope, um, I mean, I tried to ignore the hype going into this movie, because as soon as the reviews come out, there was like no bad reviews and shit. So I wanted to go in with, with my own mindset, and I mean I did. The, the acting there was there was there was no bad roles in this movie. Nobody did a shitty job acting. The, the, like I said, the story was dope. It kept me intrigued, even when there wasn't action. I was still into the story, curious what was finna go on, and and you know what I'm saying the direction like I like you could see elements in this movie of of Doug Liman and his most popular movies. Born Identity, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and you just just see like elements of like the way they were suited up. They kind of kind of looked like RoboCop. Kind of had an Elysium ish feel, just just by the way that he had the gear on, not anything else. Um, I mean, there's so many different movies that you could relate this shit to. Um, 
And like I said, trying to make my own opinion, like, I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't say, like, I like it better than X-Men. I wouldn't say I like it better than Captain America, but I will say that Edge of Tomorrow is diggity dope. Um, if you, I would just, just to see this shit, I would check it out. Um, tell me what you thought of Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, did, you know what I'm saying? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is it is it overrated? In it, in it's you know what I'm saying first couple days out. Uh, are you tired of hearing about the shit? Um, as far as June goes, I want to know like what what release are you looking forward to the most? Edge of Tomorrow. The Fault in Our Stars, um, 22 Jump Street, How to Train Your Dragon 2, uh, Think Like a Man 2, Jersey Boys, Transformers, Edge of Extinction, man. Let me know. Uh, hit me up where you can. Peace.